Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Welcome to our uh, monthly tech meet for the Rolls-Royce Owners Club of Southern California. Uh, today we will be uh, overhauling a water pump that has already been removed from an 85 Corniche. Okay, so what this, what was holding that in? First of all, it's got a bunch of corrosion around here, so it goes into, where'd my little bearing go? So what it's fighting against is the corrosion. It's pressed on there, okay? So it has two size bearings. It has the big one on the outside where most of your force is from all those six belts that are riding against this. Um, and there's, there's even more because now we've got to take this apart, and it seems as though that there was a washer. There are certain spacers in there, and you can see this has a step down. So now we've got to get, there's a snap ring on the front, so we can take the bearings out the front, because we can't push that big bearing through this small hole. We can try. Sometimes when snap rings stick, if you can get them to turn a little in their slot. Sometimes. Or another good trick is if you can compress it and get part of it to turn, if you can get a little screwdriver behind it and lift it up, you want to come out. And I grabbed it so it wouldn't hit you. This is like dentistry, isn't it? Uh, I don't know anything about dentistry. <laughs> Except I don't like being in the chair. All right, so now I guess I'll just put this back in here. We gotta get these bearings out. We gotta drive them out that direction. After you do the rebuild, do you have any, have any of them come back to you, like leaking? Oh, uh, no, I don't usually send them out if they're leaking. No, no that's, I mean, that's pretty uh, uncommon. On your work. You know, you do your well, work. I haven't. It's pretty rare. If it is, if it does, then it's something I did wrong. More often than not. Okay. Here we go. More bearing in here. There we go. That's what holds it. See, there's all kinds of machining in there, both ends. So, it's a part. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and I'm going to blast this with my blaster. You don't have to watch that and clean this up, and I'll be back in a minute. All right? You want to see this? So, what I'm doing is I'm de rusting this, I'm sandblasting it. It's called a glass bead blaster. Blow it off, so watch your ears and eyes. Okay, one thing I'm going to mention for those of you who are going to try this to take off the fan. The fan has a big nut. Let me grab it real quick. It has a fan clutch on it, which is temperature controlled, and it's got a threaded part, but it's left hand threads. So it goes back on that way. Uh, 
And so in other words, to get it off, you have to turn it the opposite direction. So you have to go righty tidy, which is untidy on left fret. And the easiest way is with a air chisel to knock it loose because you can put a big wrench on there, but then the pulley turns, it's really hard to hold it. And, and I've done this thousands of times. And it usually just pops right loose and you can just spin it off with your hand. All right. So, now to put it together, we have to put the bearings in the proper order. They only go in one way. You can see there's a spacer that goes in between and the spacer is different size so it fits over this shaft. Okay, you can't put it that way because it won't push down the, the main front bearing. So, so what I do is I drop the small bearing in. I'm gonna blow it out a little bit more. There's still some sand in there. Tom, these bearings are, are the way the, it's lubricated from the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. made for like a water pump. It's no, they're made for all kinds of app applications. They're sealed bearings. They're they're lubricated for life essentially. So, so the, 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 the water can't get into the bearings. Anymore. That's what the seal's job is. Remember, I mentioned that sometimes the seal will go bad and it'll wash out the bearings. That's what'll happen. That's the seal's job because. The seal is going to seal from this housing because this has coolant right in here. So the outer part's going to seal and then the inner part on the shaft and then it's got the carbon rotating seal in there. You can see it's spring loaded. So is that is that seal in contact with the coolant? Yes, okay. the seal is. Mm -hmm. The seal, so when you start and you hear a little squeak for a while so the water gets circulating, it's coming from that component? You won't hear it. No, I'm, it's know. carbon. Okay. Carbon's pretty quiet when it's. Oh, the squeaking you hear is usually a bell. Okay, now I'm putting that first bearing in. Make it a long steel drift. Uh, and when you tap on bearings, like this has to, this inner bearing has to fit on a outer housing. So don't hit the center with the hammer. Hit on the outside edge. So you want to go against because if you're hitting in the center, you're you're going to damage the ball bearings inside. So I walk back and forth, kind of like that torquing pattern, that star pattern, and I'm walking it down. I don't know if you want to see this. We can put it up here. Now, I'm not going to punch it all the way through. It sits in a housing. Sometimes bearings are difficult to to install until you get them perfectly square because they go in a little bit. This part goes in, and which way would it go in, guys? Fat side up, right? Ronnie, that has a lift that it that it. Uh, no, it, it does not. It does not bottom out. It kind of floats. What holds it all together once you get it together is you press it down until the snap ring. Would it be wise to mark where the old bearing was when you took it apart, like a scratch or something? At the, or no. Well, it's pretty nasty in there. Okay. You can't really see. It okay. floats. This, this one, what holds this bearing in place is the snap ring on the shaft. Now, the front bearing... But you wouldn't put any uh, seal on no, because the water, the seal is going to do the water sealing. This has actual air gap, well, air holes, and that's how you can tell when the seal is gone, is it'll leak out one of these holes. The bottom one usually. Well, that too. That's what, never mind. Keep it going. Okay. Now, this, this, this pump is missing some spacers, and this kind of disturbs me, but uh, because there is normally a spacer washer up on the top or underneath this bearing to hold this in a lock place. Um, so now I have a dilemma. Somebody has taken this apart and not put it all back together. The reason I'm saying this is if you look in here, there's a certain depth that goes to where there's a shoulder. Okay? And then there's a snap ring. Now I can look at it right there and tell that that depth is more than the width of this bearing. 
You're going to have to get the spacer parts. Going to have to do some ingenuity. Engineering. Fortune is with us. Um, I'm sure that I have those parts upstairs. As you can see, we had a problem. This is flared. That one cracked. Oh. We probably tried to weld it, didn't hold. So, we replaced the whole water pump. Get out of here. And there are the spacers the out of that. Oh, this one's a little bent. I'll Better make, I'll make it work, yeah. You, you can even order those things today. Oh, you would be very, very fortunate to yeah, find them. Yeah, I'll sell you a water pump. Then you don't need them. All right, so that goes in there to hold this at the right depth. Would you put that smaller one in first, Ronnie? No, that'll go, uh, that's a good question. I'm trying to remember. Yes, you're right. Well, that means well, there, is, there is a difference, so I don't know which the, long, the bigger one is inside or outside. No, it goes inside, I'm pretty sure, because it sits on here. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I think it goes on top of there, yeah, because I see... Where there was some dirt there, yeah, it goes on top. That's right. Thanks for. Uh, we would always. I'm just going to give you a price and then if you. Oh, did I lose that thing? No, there it is. As you can see, I'm tapping around the outside of the bearing, not the center. Ow! Ow! Not. What's wrong with used parts? Especially on a spacer. All it does is sit there. Sometimes you can't get new parts too. Yeah, that's true. Okay, now. I didn't go all the way in, did I? What I like to do is this is how I make sure it Yep, then I know it's it's in. It's always good to just so, 